All right. I'm ready now. Looks like I have Isaiah in. Looks like I have Donovan back in. Hey, Donovan. Good to see you, handsome. I got Richard in the house. Hey, Richard. All right, guys. Okay, so we got to get started. Ready to rock and roll with you all today. So we have a lot to get after today. This week, we're going to spend some time working through your kata again. We're going to do it just one time today. We've been doing the entire kata for a while. I uh, just want to review it one time, make sure we're all on a good page. Hey, Coma, glad you're here, bud. Um, and uh, get everyone squared away with that. Uh, that's important because I have some announcements at the end of class to make. And I'm very excited to share them with you. So, so we'll be going through that with you all. Um, and then also, uh, we're going to spend time today working through your self-defenses, number 18, number 19, and finish your defenses off with number 20. You get one look with it today, so I'm very excited to show you. I'm going to take Jeff for a run. We'll see how he does. Okay? So that's the game plan for today's work. As we get through all of our work today, um, just keep in mind this week is speed week, so it'll be a good time if you come together and bow. And hands in front, June B, and recite your student creed. I must develop myself in a positive manner and avoid anything that will reduce my mental growth or my physical health. I must develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and others. I must use what I learn in class constructively and defensively to help myself and my fellow man and to never be abusive or offensive. If you come together and bow. Excellent. Have a seat, everyone. Seiza. Hands top of your knees. Good breathing now. And big deep breath in. And breathe out. And again, breathe in. And again, breathe out. And come up to your toes. Balance in the balls of your feet. Wonderful. Good balance. And come up. Hands on your knees. Hope you all did a, did, you know did okay and fared well for that storm that came up on Sunday. That was a wild storm. We were hanging out in the hallway for a little bit, and I was thinking about all you guys. Hey, Andy, good to see you, bud. And come up. Hands on your hips. Step out. Good hip rolls now. Wonderful. And other direction. Missing you guys a little extra hard today, so I'm glad you guys are here. Hey. All right, Miss Upshaw, good to see you. Glad you're hanging out with us for a minute. And feet come together, hands in front, side to side. And up and down. Now circles forward and circles back. Cross your body. And palms together now. Big deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Tops of your hands, big deep breath in. And breathe out. Grab your elbow, bring it over top, good stretch. Ugh. And switch arms. They got you. Donovan, what does that mean? Did you lose some trees, bud? Reach back behind you. And reach down to your toes, good toe touches. And come back and pull. One, two, three, and four. And reach down to your toes, good toe touch. And come back and pull. One, two two, three, and four. Hands on your hips. Step back with your foot. Ayah! And bending your front knee. Hana. Dual. Set. Net. Dasit. Yusit. Elu. Yudo. Aho. And yo. And switch feet. Ayah! Hey, Mr. Stewart and Hana. Dual. Set. Net. Dasit. You sit. Elgu. Yudo. Aho and yo. Took out your trees. Oh, man. So you were a busy guy yesterday. Helping pull tree limbs and all kind of stuff out, right? Made you strong? I hope so. Hope you were helping with that. Hope you were just sitting inside watching your mom do it. Mm -hmm. And we come together. So, again, it is speed week. So, because it's speed week, we're going to go through our jumping jacks today. A little bit faster than what you might be used to. 25 jumping jacks, gotta beat me. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thank you, going to 11, 12. 
12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, come on, 19th, 20th, 21, 2, 23, 24, 25. Ooh, that's really fast. Keep up. Yeah. Ooh, it's quick. Okay. All the way down. Heels and toes together, guys. Yeah, I wasn't even jumping. It was more like a sliding jack, huh? I can bring them in. Well, good, Donovan. I'm glad you were helping. Did you get it all picked up? Is it all just in a big pile in your front yard? And switch. Put that leg out. Switch down. And switch. Other leg out. Good switch down. And back to the middle. Heels and toes together. Big deep breath in. And breathe out. Excellent. Now take your legs out. Why as you can. Big split. Hands in front. Reaching forward. Now grab your legs. Bring them in. Shake them out. Crunch time. You guys ready? Turn sideways. And 30 crunches. Stay with me. Elbows and knees meet in the middle. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Come on, come on. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty. Woo! Good work. And everybody up. Feet come together, sir. And bow. Okay, take just a moment for yourself. I'll get ready to. Okay, so now we get to go through Samurai Set. Again, I'm only going to go over Samurai Set just one time today. Make sure you have this ready to go, okay? Make sure you're practicing the form. And by now, you should almost know it like the back of your hand, Isaiah. So let's put it to practice. Put it all the parts together again one more time. Finish the card the same as we did last week. And then move on to our other stuff. So we come together, sir. And bow. Present for Samurai Set Step Out Say Martial Arts. America. Samurai Set. Hands up. Oh yeah. Number one. Starts with a back fist. Step up, key my side punch. Left behind right. Looping back fist. Spinning back fist. Reverse punch. Back leg round kick. Oh yeah. Now we start with our switches. Number two. Switch, switch. Axe kick left. Put it back behind you. Grab right and pull, punch down. Switch knees, high cover, switch to punch right. Oh yeah! Stand up. Double switches again. Switch, switch. Step right, axe kick left. Step through with your right foot. Facing the back wall. Back fist, punch, back leg round kick, left behind right, X down. Step back right, right hand chops. Left hand to the shoulder. Left hand chops, right hand back. Press down left and vertical punch. Ay -yah! Now we're wheel kick combos. Round kick first. One, leave it in front. First wheel kick goes to the right side of the room. Pick it up, bring it around. Good. Next wheel kick to the front of the room. Next wheel kick, left of the room. Whoa, that was a flexible move. And final kick to the back. And drop. Punch left, open, two punches, left, right. Standing high cover chop, front kick, flying front kick, left behind right, X, down. Step and turn the body off, punch the back wall. Shift and drop, punch the back wall. Stand up with the right foot, come across. Right hand, left hand, and samurai. Set. And bow. Oh. 
How was that? A lot of jumping, a lot of moving. <sighs> okay, so that's your samurai set form. It's very important that you know this, okay? And I don't want to spoil it just yet, so but make sure you're practicing it. I recommend you do it 10 or 12 times a day. If you need a better reference in our class today, you can always go back and check out Mr. Stewart's Samurai Set Kata that he did for the Advanced Belt Playlist on our YouTube channel to get more of that. Let's transition. Feet together, sir. And bow. Okay, I have my friend here. His name is Yep. Now, Jeff's gonna help me out today as we go through your three defenses. We're gonna wrap up with your new defense and I'm only gonna show it to you one time because with Jeff, unfortunately, we'll only get one good look out of it. So we'll start with number 18 first. Now remember, this is me working with my dummy friend here. If you have need to work with somebody at home or you need a better reference, again, go back and look at that YouTube channel. I've got videos of Mr. Carly, Mr. Stewart and I doing these doing these defenses and doing them with somebody. So you can see the small things like how the elbows bend, how things break, how they move. It goes a long way. So I've got Jeff tilted. He's gonna down block to me first about our partner, out of respect. He down blocks, pretend down blocks. He steps up and punches. And when he does so, I'm gonna step back for an outside block. That means my left leg goes back and my right hand comes up for the pseudo protect. Number 18 is my last of my outside protects. Grab right. My back foot's going to step up. Very important. I don't step up in front of his foot. I want to step up right beside him. Hand comes up strong, and I'm breaking the elbow. Oh, yeah! Okay. Remember, when I make the contact, I'm going to hit it with my forearm, the meat of my forearm, and then it rolls into the break. The moment I land, bow, and twists over on the finish. So again, from the block, set up the block, set up the grab, step up, yeah, same time as the foot and hand. Let's change angles. Get a new perspective here. From the block, block, grab, step up, same time, yeah, on that elbow finish. Okay, that's number 18. So, number 18, face with me. Outside block right, grab the wrist, back foot steps up, back hand comes up, and breaks the elbow. Don't let go of the wrist while you're breaking the elbow. You'll just knock the arm away. Hang on to the wrist so it all smashes through at the same time for number 18. Number 19 is that really, really long one that we set up not yet for the takedown, but we got everything but the takedown figured out. So number 19 is an inside protect. So, from the knuckles ready, he down blocks, moves forward to punch, inside block, which sets up for a grab, okay? From that inside block, grab. I'm going to drop down on my back knee, and I'm going to uppercut right in the groin. Ugh! From that uppercut, I'm going to elbow right across, he bends down, goes, ooh, all right? So, I'm going to elbow right in the face, I stand up, elbow! Jeez, Jeff. Elbow in the face. Chop to the neck. Grab the back of the head. Knee in the body. And then there's my sweet takeout. Not yet, though. We'll work that later. So again, your motions are block, grab, uppercut, elbow, chop, knee, sweep. That's a lot. Say it with me out loud again. Block, grab, uppercut, Elbow, grab, excuse me, excuse me, elbow, chop, grab, knee, sweep. Okay, one more time from the punch. He punches, so I block. From my block, grab, drop down, uppercut, elbow, chop, grab the back of the head, knee, same leg, kicks the front for the sweep. That makes sense to everyone? Gosh, I hope so. Let's change angles. It might work best on a visual with a person. That YouTube channel becomes just invaluable for you guys to use as a reference and tool. So again, from the block, step back. There's my shoot to protect. Grab, drop down, uppercut to the groin. Elbow to the face while I stand through it. 
chop the neck, grab the knee, and sweep for the takedown from that point there. Okay? Now, time for a personal favorite of mine. And you'll see why you only get one look here uh, for number 20. On number 20, it's up the fence. You're going to set up for your inside to protect and then immediately move to your jump spin kick. You're going to kick them right in the center of the body and drop them to the back side of the floor. Okay? Remember, on the jump spin kick, like we talked about before, when you were working on it in the past, right? It's my feet switching in place. And then while it switches in place, that's my contact with my kick. Right? So we're all on a good page there. So, number 20. Knuckles ready. Draw back for that inside block. As soon as I hit that block, it's time for it. Block it and pop it. Oh yeah! No more jets. Okay? That's the idea. So, you get one inside protect, hop, jump, switch, boom! And just drive that body and uh, do it right. That's what happens. Okay, great. Let's talk about a couple things. Let me just clean my friend up here. Oh, poor Jeff. Oh, poor Jeff. Okay, good as new. Give a big hand for my partner in crime. Excellent. I'm going to put him away now. So, take a nap, Jeff. Relax, you'll be great. So let's shift modes for you guys now. So we're going to move talking about our speed week. It is speed week. Go ahead and just feet come together. Now get comfortable. Have a seat, take a knee, whatever works best for you, okay? On your speed week challenges, you've got quite a few different challenges to try this week. Again, all of your challenges were sent out to you via email and posted. They're pinned to the top of the Facebook page. Your first challenge this week is to do your speed kicks as many times in a row as you can for 10 seconds. If you are a red belt, you have to do 30. Red, black, 30, and black belts attending right now, 35 round kicks in 10 seconds. The good news is, because it's speed week, we're not working on balance either. Just you can have a chair, a kicking chair to help hang on to, something to help support you while you're working on it. For a better explanation of your speed kick challenge for step one, Check out Mr. Kylie's video posted on our Facebook page yesterday, okay, that tells you exactly what to look for for the speed challenge to know what you're doing there. The second challenge, do your entire samurai set in 15 seconds. That means you have to know it. That's part of the challenge of the speed, right? It's okay to be fast, but we want to be fast and we want to make sure that we have good technique and we're strong and we're, we're good at what we do also. So you can't do samurai set fast if you don't know samurai set, which means you should probably what? Practice. That, that's the answer, Donovan. Good way to listen, pal. Okay. Step three is the elbow arm catch coin thing. You put a quarter on your elbow, and you got to catch it before it drops. I've been practicing that all week, and I've only got it one time. So i got to get it on film for you guys, too. The last challenge is to balance an object on your hand for your bonus challenge. And when you balance an object in your hand, you be so fast that you can actually back fist it out of the air while holding it. That's quick. Uh, again, I recommend a water bottle just because it's easy and available. Uh, stuffed animals are good. I don't recommend using kitchen knives, right? Things that are sharp or things that are hard. You might want to fix something a little softer you can work with. And I recommend the water bottle be empty also while you are doing it. So from here, I have the bottle held in my hand out in front of me. And I'm going to put my focus on it. I'm going to draw the hand back to my body and then back fist it before it falls to the ground. So I'm here, ready to rock. <sighs> oh, yeah! It's quick, okay? You can do the same thing. As always, for all these challenges, take video, take pictures, put it all in your challenge sheet, take a picture of that, and you post all of your results underneath the comment section for the speed challenge week. Don't post it anywhere else. Put it in that pinned post on our Facebook page that says speed week challenge post results here, okay? Last thing I want to do is I want to uh, congratulate Nathan Jacobs for winning last week's challenge. Nathan has won uh, 
um, a Taekwondo thermos and a set of Taekwondo pins and some really cool ninja stuff to take home. So Nathan, call us up here. Let us know when you want to come grab that, and we'll have that ready for you guys also. Um, last thing before I let you guys go for the day. We're not going to have advanced class on Thursday. I know. And that's because, instead, we finally get to meet face-to-face. -face. We have a Zoom classroom set up for you guys that's going to happen on Thursday at 3 o'clock here uh, with your Zoom account. This is for all my guys who are eligible to stripe test for their next rank. Now, for advanced belts, I only sent in my red belt guys. So I did not send invites for this particular one to my red black belts. Red black belts, so Donovan and Coleman, all you guys, you guys know as a red black belt that your stripes are only based on your physical test and your council exams and all those things. They're a bit of a different setup than what we're used to, okay? Than what you're used to. Those are for black belt stuff that we're shooting for still. And I'll let you know as very soon how we're going to get that stuff done as well. But for all my red belts, so for Wyatt, um, and for Donovan, for you guys who are red belts, right? Getting you, or Donovan, you're red black now. So I got, I got a few guys. It's Isaiah. Um, you know, you guys who are red belts, and Nathan, um, you've got a Zoom meeting for me now. I've already sent in your, in an email to everyone who's eligible, your testing stuff. You should have already gotten it in an email. So why you should already have it in your email, ready to rock and roll. Um, if I didn't tag you in it, I should have. Let me know. Email me back saying. I'm not in the thing, so I can make sure you're taken care of, right, okay? Um, but that's going to be on Thursday at 3 o'clock. I'll be recording that Zoom class, and that will go on Facebook, um, but that will be after the fact later. So no classes on Thursday because we have a live class together instead. So log into that uh, Zoom account that I sent to you guys at the appropriate time on Thursday, and that we're going to give that a shot and see how it goes, okay? Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing many of your faces on Thursday hanging out with us. Okay, let's wrap up class today, guys. Which means, for that first stripe, one more thing. I told you to have your samurai set ready. And this is why, Emily. You gotta have it ready. You gotta have it super ready, okay? So, we come together. Make sure that your samurai set's good for Thursday. Christopher, and I'll see you Thursday making it happen. Thumbs up. Repeat after me. I'm awesome. I'm unstoppable. Nothing's impossible. Focus your eyes. Focus your mind. Focus your body and go. Martial Arts, America, Junior Adult, Team. Practice hard. I'll see many of you on Thursday. We're going to rock and roll with it, guys. Very excited. Bow. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you, guys. Beep.